Ice, will you shut up for a minute? We gotta get you the fuck out of Dodge, man. We're going to Vegas tonight. What are you talking about, Vegas? Vegas, baby, Vegas. Well, welcome back, subscribers. And to those new people stopping by for the first time, welcome to you guys, too. Hey, if you're figuring out what the heck I'm doing here, I'm going to go ahead and put a link right up there. And it's going to give you more information on kind of what I'm doing, this theory I have behind my strategy, and how it works, and how it reduces the expectations of a loss, and all that other fun stuff. So here we are at the casino. They had just finished up balancing the wheel. And um, it was kind of fun to see. I just jumped on and they were just in the process of doing that. So let me wait for this window to pop up. Let me try to get things set up for us. And what do I want for? This thing goes from 21. Okay, so here we are on a new balanced wheel. Let's see if this is gonna work. And check the pattern. Um, let you close. Let me go ahead and turn the volume off here. Sorry, I'm not quite set up this Welcome time around. I so had a very busy weekend. I hope you guys had a good weekend. Mine was absolutely crazy. Why? I burned up my computer. Yeah, I was downloading and processing so many videos. It just kind of looked at me and said, you know what? I want this little blue icon to spin and spin and spin. And uh, it just spun and I got up and got a cup of coffee and came back and it was still spinning. Tried to close it down. Didn't work. <clears throat> Tried shutting it down. Didn't work. Tried turning it off. That worked, but it wouldn't turn back on. So I talked to a buddy of mine and he said, you know what? I said, what? He said, you fried it. And I'm like, oh, shoot. So all of my files are on that computer, on that hard drive. I lost all my graphics. The intro you just saw, I, I had to rebuild again. Um, that was kind of fun. I just kind of took it off. But anyway, I'm belly aching. Um, it just kind of was a crappy one. And I hope you guys had a better weekend. Anyway, we talked earlier, that, or the topic of this is, is every roulette wheel biased? I'm going to say there could be a possibility of that. And I say that because of what I'm seeing here with the patterns that occur on the board. Now, consistently, you look at any table and you're going to see it dominating within two of the 12s. And then the other one, it kind of puckers off and kind of shows a balance within the two. Like this one, I would choose this line right here. Um, it just shows a dominance in one of those. Now, does that mean anything? Absolutely not. Why? Because every roll has the exact same odds and expectations of coming in, blah, blah, blah. But in my hope, what I'm trying to do is narrow down the 112 that has the least amount of um, <clears throat> bets. Meaning, if I were to put a bet right here on this line, basically you're dividing up into 50-50. It's my hope of trying to exploit the information or exploit the wheel for what it's creating into reducing the expectations of that losing number coming up and possibly increasing that 50% up to maybe 70 or 80 based on just the pattern of the board. Um, trying to find a biased wheel has been around forever. You know, we have names like, uh, I don't know, Joseph Yeager and Albert Hibbs was one. And um, some German guy, Helmut, Helmut Berlin, Berlin, Berlin. Anyway, these guys made a lot of money doing it, trying to find the little nick and crack in every corner and odds and expectations. And they'd hire these people to go out and run all these numbers and keep track of everything. And, you know, it worked out for them when all reality is, Every wheel shows its own pattern for the most part. So this guy recently had his table balanced. It's as balanced as balance could be. But yet the patterns still remain. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to play this for a little bit and then I'm going to jump to another wheel. And I'm going to give a shot here. In this case, what did I want to do? I think it was the 35. 35, 35, oh wait, is it shifting? Hang on a second. I'm gonna take a peek here, see what happens and 
three and the seven, no, seven, and um, 31. I'm just gonna go ahead and put it on the seven right here. It seems like it's already patterning. We're just gonna give it a shot here and hope for the best. Um, but yeah, anyway, you look at it right now, we are dealing with 80% of the board is covered. So, you know, having said that, that's pretty good odds. So anybody using, for example, a Martingale strategy, although I hate them, I despise them, they're stupid. So many of those were being played with odds and percentages of 50%. So when you're dealing with something like that, yeah, it's gonna take a larger bankroll, but I mean, when working with 80% coverage, it seems pretty consistent, you know? So then again, so that seven right there was pretty much based off of the, you know, that seven that I had and the line that it had. Now, will it continue? I don't know, but let's find out. I'm just going with what I see here now. There's another situation here, and that is table shift, okay? So they kind of jump around a little bit, meaning it could be heavy on the first 12, or heavy on the second, and, and not so heavy on the third. So they do kind of jump around. It's important that you keep an eye on those patterns at all times. But predominantly from, from all my hours of play, I mostly see all of my losing numbers are gonna happen right like that. So, <laughs> that didn't work out quite right. That's okay, we have a next level here. I'm gonna wait for a back-to-back. -back. It was kind of funny how that happened. Then again, no strategy is perfect. We're just gonna see if it's gonna throw a shift here. I'm still gonna call that a fluke. Okay, now it could be shifting. See how we're getting more frequent numbers in the lows? So what I'm gonna do here is just wait patiently I want to see if that table is going to shift at all. And let me go ahead and turn the volume down on this a little bit. Thank you so much. The betting time is over. We'll keep it right about there for now. Six hot numbers coming from I'm not the quite section. sure. Two from Vaza. Let's see what's coming up next. Good luck. Now on these lower numbers. See, it's starting to shift, all right? So, again, yeah, first thousand. So, what I'm going to do here is now I'm going to flip section. it. It's a new number. Let's not open on six again. And so which one do I play from here? First thousand, thousand. Seems popular. Let's see if this and see continues. Um, Spinning. I don't know if I would go Thank you so middle much. section or not. There's the 19, there's the 20, and then there's the 24, 19, 20, and 24. Okay, so let's try this out here. I think the new pattern is shifting, so I'm just going to go ahead and lay these out here. Hope I can get them up in time. I'm going to go with that 19, 20, and 24. And I don't like it. Every time he reaches up underneath it. I'll try this one out. Thank you. No more bets. Yeah, see so we had the 20, 21, 19, and the 20 and the 24 all falling within that little 12. And you don't see any others of those set up. And now we are back on the section. I'm gonna do the same thing here. I'm gonna drop down to the five. Congratulations to all the lucky winners. Well, the lucky winners. Here. Here. number 30. High the number belongs on third column and also third dozen. Takes us back to the tier section. 
Second and long. Mm, pass 12. I'll try to zero it in a little bit more. Now this wheel is just balanced, that doesn't mean anything. So, is there a biasness in a wheel? I'd like to think there's a possibility of that happening just because of the trends that happen on the table. Again, we have our ups and downs in life. We have our, you know, stock market goes up and down. We have all sorts of different things. Even in the so casino, the every single one of those spent. games, on you know, you might have 21, for example, win. where, you know, Play the seven dealer's seven winning a lot and the player wins a lot and so it kind of bounces back and forth like that. So the same thing happens uh, with any table, really. Uh, I don't can't get it out. Ah, oh, just in time. Oh man, I need to get my mouse. My computer came with a mouse, but it's kind of hard based on where I'm sitting to have a mouse around. I mean, mice are bad, that's why they normally kill mice, but <laughs> I'm good to have around. Well ended. This time on one of the hottest, the winning number, 22 black. Well then, to all the lucky winners, congratulations. Thank you. New batting time available. 22 so, DPS again, number, part of it shifts first. and it, it shifted out of that Colin. low numbers. And second dozen. But, Spawned 20 times in last 1,500 games. I don't like second it. Number in the wheel. Spinning from 22. I should have done it, but my gut feeling just said <laughs> not to do it. And Thank you. <laughs> that's so important with a lot of things in life. Is you just got to follow your gut feeling. Oh my god, I remember this one time in Thailand, uh, it was the first trip I made over there, and I'd heard from all my buddies, I'm just going to keep rolling with it, I said, don't go, you're going to get shanghai I was like, no, I'm not going to get shanghai don't do it, something's going to happen, <laughs> I'm like, no, I'm going to be fine, man, well, Anyway, I stayed at the Ramachet Hotel, which is on Soy 25, roughly. Soy, soy means street in Thai. So anyway, I didn't know this, but I came out at night, and there were ladyboys all over the place. Now, oh guys, if you ever go there, they're kind of hard to tell who's a male and who's a female. It's really kind of tough. So anyway, I walked by, and you can, with these two, I could pretty much tell. You know what I mean? And I walked by and I said, Swati Kop, Kun Sabadi My Kop. Which means, hi, how you doing? In a very polite, cool way. He's starting to get frustrated again. This time to went, it's like high number from what from section. So free to play center bet. Anyway, so I'm gonna do one more and we're gonna wait. So anyway, so I, I turn around and all of a sudden they're following me and I'm thinking, oh no, this isn't good. And the last thing I need to have is any type of trouble in Thailand, and I'm being chased by a bunch of lady boys, and it's like, wow, this is crazy. So that spidey sense inside me kicked in, and it just said, get away. And I thought, okay, I'm just going to have to get away from the situation the best way I can, right? So there is a Robinson store, and in order to get into the Robinson, you have to go down. You have to go down a set of stairs, right? So I go down this set of stairs and I'm inside the store and immediately my first thought is to take the first left and I took the first left and there's a door and I said I'm going in that door. I have to get the heck away from this situation, right? Well, I'm in the back of the store now, right? And I'm just thinking, oh my gosh, and I look across and there are two or three Thai guys that were sitting there and I'm just walked straight ahead and there was this elevator and I get up on the elevator took the first floor to get up to the to the street level and I make it back and I'm sitting there and I'm, I'm walking I'm sorry I'm trying to talk here and watching what's going on here and that's kind of hard for me to do so I get to the street level and I take a right and I'm thinking okay all I have to do is go down on this one Oops, I didn't make it up in time. All I have to do is make it down this one soy street, and I'll be able to cut over and get to my hotel, right? So I'm walking along, and all of a sudden, I realize I'm in a dead end. And I'm just, oh, you've got to be kidding me. There's beer bottles all over the place. 
I'm starting to really get a little anxious because there are no lights in this little back soy and I didn't know what I was going to do. So I just played along with the game and walked through and turned around and then I realized I was being followed by two of these guys and I'm just, oh, you got to be kidding me, right? There are beer bottles up and down. I'm looking for Sawadee Cop. Pizza Buddy, my cop cop. And ladies and gentlemen, Chai. Time is over now. Chai. Good luck. Cup cup. Oh, sorry. Anyway, hang on a second. Let me turn turn that off. Let me talk to her later on. Ladies and gentlemen, I landed this time on the coldest in our wheel. It's 34 at the. <laughs> okay, so I left off with the story. I, I'm just jabbing at the gums. If you've, if you've listened this far, I appreciate it, but let me just finish up with the story. So turn around. I'm followed by these two guys. I didn't know what to do. There were beer bottles all over the place, so I was looking for weapons of opportunity in case something happened. I walked towards them because I'm stuck in a dead end, and it turned out that they were store security. So they asked me where I was going. I told them over there, and... They told me how to get there, and I told them the story that I was being chased by a bunch of lady boys, and they just laughed. But anyway, I guess the moral of the story is, if your gut feeling, see, I turned it off. If your gut feeling says not to do something, don't do it. You know, I'd rather you take your money, keep it in your pocket, and walk away from the table. Generally, in this situation, I would have made 45 bucks, whatever. I'm done with my 10 limit, Thank you so much. 10 minute limit, and it's time for me to just walk away and go to another casino, walk to another board, okay? You can, there's so many wheels all over the place that you can take advantage of and look at, and you're looking for the same type of pattern. You're looking for tables that are going to pattern, and amazingly so, they will always pattern. You could come back 20, 30 minutes later, they might have shifted a little bit, but not much. So keep that in mind. Every table probably does have its own little pattern, and it's up to you to go ahead and identify that. Wait for the good string that you want. Know that the table is going to shift. Be alert of that, and be willing to walk away to keep that table from shifting. And just go to another casino, go to another table, and just have fun with it. All right, guys? Okay, with that in mind, you guys have a great day and a better tomorrow. You guys take it easy now.